This is going to be Cry Me a River, and I'm going to do the intro and main riff of Justin Timberlake's version. And I'm going to do the chords and basic strumming pattern for Justin Bieber's version, his live version. So let me start with the Timberlake version. Your capo on fret 4 and standard tuning. It's going to be arpeggios. And our chord progression will be E minor, B7, C, and D7 with A in the bass. It starts out with arpeggios, and it's going to be a small, very easy E minor shape. And you're just going to go up the strings for the first chord, and that's going to be 6th string, 3rd, 2nd, 1st. Then you're going to add your 3rd finger on the 1st string, 3rd fret, up from the capo. to clip the note, staccato. Then you'll go to the B7 shape and you're going to hold your second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and your third finger on the third string, second fret. And you're going to do the same pattern. It's like four sixteenth notes. So you go fifth string, third, second, open first, and then add your pinky on the second fret of the first string. So, so far we have. Next is a regular C chord, and you're going to play straight up the C chord like we did the last two chords. That'll be fifth string, third, second, first, and then you're going to add your pinky on string one, fret three. Your last chord is going to be a D7 chord with A in the bass, so it's an inversion. Slowly. Here we go through the chords again. Take your time at first. I've been doing this finger style, meaning I'm using my thumb, index, middle, and ring finger, or in finger style language, P, I, M, and A. Now you can also use a pick. You can go straight down with your pick, or alternate. That's a straight down version. Either one, whatever you're more comfortable with. To be honest with you, I think it sounds better not using a pick. I could get more power that way, actually, in a softer sound. It's a little closer to the synthesizer on the original version. So that's the basic chord progression. Whatever you want to do from there is fine. You could play the basic chords the rest of the way through the song and maybe intermittently come in with the main riff. For Justin Bieber's version, we have to switch guitars because he is not capo, but he's tuned down one half step. I tune down the E-flat tuning, which is what Justin does on just about all of his live versions. E minor, A minor, C, and B7. 
somewhat different than what Justin Timberlake did with his version, but they both work. That's why I've given you both versions. You may like one over the other. Justin Bieber starts out with a basic strumming pattern. Yeah. 